M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the G106. Today we're going to update the firmware. My firmware is version 1.0 and I'll show you how to find that. Press the big dial and then you've got five menus here. Turn until you get to number four. Okay, and then you'll see it says here version. Press it, oh, not quick enough. And it's there, 1.0, but the new version in October 2024 is 1.3 and the good thing about 1.3 it definitely adds the ability to increase and decrease the power and they've improved it optimized it for WSJTX and overall improved the device so you're going to need this cable here and the software the cable is the same as the one you get with the G90 and the 5105 one end of it plugs into the com at the back so I will show you that, but that end there, turn the radio around. So the COM is going in just here where it's marked COM. I'll plug it in ready. I mean, nothing's powered at the moment. It's all turned off. So our cable's in there. And of course, the other end is going to go to our computer. You'll hear your computer make a noise. If you right click on the Windows Square, right click, go Device Manager this window will appear just here and you'll be able to just check your com port number so mine is 15 so i would click it right click it then go to properties and then port settings and i will just make sure that it's 115 200 you're going to need that so 115 200 com 15 we can close that Turn the radio back round ready for when we put it into firmware mode. To download the firmware, go to the link I provide, click the G106 radio and just click download. Yeah, just it'll go up to your download folder here at the top. Click it and extract it to another folder. So what I do is I just go on my desktop, right click, new folder and I then I call it G106 and I go back to that file and when you click it, you'll get a window open just there and I extract it to the folder that I call G106 which is there click OK so in that folder if I close this one we've got everything we need now double click the folder and it's just here um, the update tool is the first thing to open so double click that and it's called TerraTerm. So we'll double click that. And hopefully it will run that for us. Let's just accept and go next, next, next. English. We, we do want a, a shortcut next, next, and next. It's like a little yellow square. Launch TerraTerm. Finish. And we use this on the G90 as well. So we want to select our serial port, which is here. Just so click and tick where it says serial. Then click the 15, remember? And click OK. We get this window appear. Now we're going to go to setup. Go down to serial port. And then here you want to select 115200, okay? 115200, COM15. Then click New Setting. And you are getting close now. So now we've got the power connected to the radio. It's off though. We're going to hold our finger down on the volume. Like so, and turn on. That should get us into firmware mode. We've got a green light there. And if you look here, we're starting to see a thing there. We've got to press number one quite quickly. Make sure you click the actual square. And it's now saying erasing. If you don't click the actual black square, it doesn't know you're pushing the button. So now we're going to transfer the firmware. We go file, transfer, down to X modem, then send. 
And then we have to find our firmware what I put in my desktop. I'm going to go up to desktop. And I put it in the G106 folder. And I've, I've deleted everything else and I left it on its own. So we go to G106, double click. And there it is. And it sends it. And if you get this, I think you're, you're on to a winner. So it is, you know, it's quite nervy doing firmware. I mean, no one likes, no one likes doing firmware. <laughs> Um, so we'll turn it on afterwards, give it a little test. So I'm going to be comparing this device. I mean, it's, it's a 200 pound device. I'm going to compare it with my X6 200, my X6 100, but I'm also going to compare it with devices like, um, this, because these are about 150 pound and there's other devices that are around 200 pound. And we buy these kind of things because they're a low cost way of getting onto the HF bands. Um, which is what this is. The only thing that I'm surprised at is that there is there are no settings at all for uh, even noise reduction. I'm surprised they haven't added that because I don't think it would have been that hard. It says here, please disconnect power and connect it later. So I'm going to do that. Cool. Leaning over. It's quite stiff that power cable. So let's turn it back on. I've also unplugged the the programming cable. So let's just turn this on and see what we get. Uh, hold down. Oh, it's still got my call sign. Uh, let's turn up the volume. Not hearing much at the moment. I think that's because I told it to use my, yeah, I told it to use my uh, external speaker. Because when you plug in the microphone, you have to press the volume button to tell it to use the external speaker connector that is actually in in the microphone. I'll just show you there. It's just like a little, yeah. But you know, it seems to work fine. So let's just check we've got the right firmware. I think that's crucial. So we'll just go to, sorry about the bright lights here. That's better. Right, okay, so we'll press. So let's go to right. press, turn to number four, version 1.3. So that's been successful. And we should now also get power because before we didn't have the ability to change power. So there it is there, TX power. Okay, I can see it there. How do we actually change it? They are mid high. I'm gonna leave it high because I wanna do a test. But you, that wasn't there before. Save. And uh, what's this? That's our radio. No, it's not. That's yes, it is. Hand band and then full band. MG. Mic gain. Ooh. Didn't know that was there. Let's go to number four. Split display selections. I'm pressing the VFO, by the way. So display, we've got scope and signal meter, scope, we did have big scope, yeah, big scope, I like scope and signal meter, that's to me is the best one, I don't really like the big scope, um, we just, let's go back, number three, that hasn't changed, that's CW settings, and number one, VFO memory, AB, memory write and memory cancel. Let's just turn it up, see if anyone's about you. It's like my 7100, to be honest. Right. I would say it's, it, the speaker is a bit muffled. We can't change the bandwidth as far as I can see, and there's no DSP, so it's a very basic set. But remember, if you're plugging, um, if you're using it at CW, you're gonna, you're not gonna care about that. Um, and it does sound a lot better when you plug a speaker into a speaker into it. So I plug my speaker into the microphone now, and all you do is press. That definitely sounds better. So I think a DSP speaker 
Uh, would be better and I don't, uh, that speaker I don't think it's the best one to use uh, I'm going to try actually with my I've got a Bluetooth adapter here let me just quickly try that that's actually working really well so you get these for about eight pound on Amazon these are a fiver as soon as you turn them both on they pair the 3.5 jack which you can see there just plugs into the microphone and you've got a Bluetooth speaker that actually sounds really good bye for now thanks for watching my update video and um, you know we've added the ability to, to change the power and we've got the latest updates there and hopefully when we use WSJTX we're gonna we're not gonna have any problems bye for now 73